Well, it's back to Sengoku Ainu. There's probably not much excitement left in this, but I do want to get this finished, get those borders smoothed out. But before we go to that, I should give a quick recap on the multiplayer game. The developer multiplayer game where I am Venice and I am getting repeatedly curb stomped. Yes, France has joined in the uh, smacking the Venetian pony party. So I am being pushed further and further out of Europe because I believe uh, Wiz wants to polish his ego and be able to say, well, I kicked Jake out of Europe before he retires from doing dev MPs just so he can cackle and be smug. I'm pretty sure he'll succeed in that, but, you know, I'd rather fall than kneel. I've been given offers and I ain't taking them. But even though things get pretty harsh and heated in those two hour dev MP sessions on Tuesdays, I just need to remember the guiding words of the one man. The one man that helps me keep it all together. You see, you may enjoy our games, but the music and the sounds often go underappreciated. So it's good to give a nod to Bjorn, one of the uh, cogs in that machine. Whenever morale is low, he comes through and he says, Jake, you're demolishing everything. And I'm like, I, I don't know, Bjorn. Don't know if I can keep the demolishing going. And he just goes, Jake, you gotta stay true to the heavy metal. And then it just, you know, the power of heavy metal just flows through me. And I'm able to keep it going. And that's a bit of behind the scenes and how I keep, uh, keep a cool head when it comes to Europa. Bjorn is pretty awesome. So I've pretty much forgotten everything that's going on here in uh, Sengoku Ainu. My lack of cores in this region tells me that I took land over here, and the Mountain Coalition tells me that I've been a bad boy. Kinda miss bad boy as a uh, measurement in Europa. <laughs> 10 out of 10 description. <laughs> yeah, Bjorn is the heaviest metal. And he does not get the uh, recognition he deserves, to be honest. Yeah, I really can't barely remember what was going on here. It's probably land for me to take. There are probably people that I don't have truces with that I need to demolish. That's the one word he will never let me forget. It's like, he comes through. And he's there, <coughs> rooting for me in the dev MP, even though he, he knows I'm getting demolished by every European and their grandma, because, hey, let's all kill Jake, that sounds like fun. So, uh, he can see that it's getting me down, and he just goes, Jake, remember, demolish everything. Don't know what I'd do without you, Bjorn. But it wouldn't be the same. Kind of zen here playing Sengoku Ainu. I'd kind of forgotten about it all. And there go all the truces, and here come the coalitions. Uh, how did I not get around those? Even Vigianagar is hating my guts, and oops, I thought I'd pause there. <sighs> oh well, some people are foolish enough not to join. Ah, those are people that uh, <laughs> don't have truces with me. Well, I. Missed the boat on declaring war on these guys. Ah, well. We'll be just fine, probably. Wonder if I could just take on all these guys at once. Otherwise, the rest of these folks would just join that coalition. Eh, food for thought. Jake, you need Prussian ideas for demolishing. Funnily enough, it wasn't really the Prussians that they were the big bad problem in the dev multiplayer. The problem were the French, who had 123 discipline and were the first to reach military tech 23, let alone the fact that they are consuming 
Spain and Great Britain completely unopposed, just because those are players that are dropped out, and well, hey, who's going to stop the feasting of the already overpowering Europeans? Yep. Let the salt flow. Boy, I really did miss the mark. I should have been declaring war there and then. Granted, I could demolish Ming instead, but I was hoping to chew up these guys first. Let's see. Your only friend is Tangu. If I fight you, then I, in quotes, only have to fight all this. Does include the Gianagar, and it's not like I have any particular tech advantage. Also, it's worth considering my manpower, which is uh, melting away. Jake, you got a free colonist. That I do. Got to uh, pay attention to the borders. Really, a lot of this is just pretty borders, the game. Cowardly natives. Um... <clears throat> See, sometimes I'm wondering how did that coalition come to hit me, because I had truces with them. I must have completely forgotten to uh, guarantee and revoke on them. So, for example, they got a truce with me for ages. Khmer, Orissa, Hisweni. Those are guys I still have long truces with. Khmer. Orissa I don't care about because I've already taken the bordering lands with that. Although I still don't want them joining a coalition, so it couldn't hurt to do it. And the other guys were Swenny, these guys here that barely matter at all. Jake, what about the oppressed Korean people? They need better beards as well. That they do, but they're allied with Ming. <clears throat> and I'm not yet ready to go uh, slaughtering Ming. And the battle lines would be too... Oh, hello, Ming. Welcome to Coalition City. I'll get them out of there. Even Utsang. So yeah, there isn't really going to be much in the way of excitement here. So really this would have been far better suited for doing over the weekend, but uh, I believe Twitch was being a bit awful over the weekend. I tried streaming, but the uh, I think it was CSGO was having a huge thing, which just destroyed any hope of that. Wiz isn't to be trusted. What has Wiz been saying about the multiplayer? Although I do agree, he is not to be trusted. He's the one that stuck the knife in my back that caused uh, most of my woes. Before the multiplayer even started, we played some test sessions, and I 100%ed Wiz twice, and both times I sent him a white piece. And he was getting visibly very flustered about this. Because, I mean, he's pretty bad at the game. So. Took me out and he said, Jake, when we uh, do this for real, I am going to mount up as many people as it takes to defeat you. Bearing in mind, the last time that he tried to defeat me, he brought in Austria and Hungary. And himself, all I had on my side was the Pope, still destroyed him. He said, I will drag as many people as it takes to destroy you. Unless we can work out some kind of cohabitation. I was like, I'm listening. So the agreement was, I give him Briskaya, and we never fight. I was like, yeah, okay, sure. So I gave him Briskaya, and he was like, nah, that's not enough. 
So he booted me out of Italy, booted me out of the Balkans, and I <laughs> continued to get curb stomped by Poland until finally turning it around. But uh, now he's got France on his side. And oh boy, France packs a punch. They field about 300,000 men with 123% discipline. Yeah, they kick our ass all over the place. And France has this lucky way where uh, the players around him keep having to leave, you know, moving around or not able to join any more sessions. So France just gets a free pass to eat them up. So. Not ideal, one could say. But Venice is still alive. Although I'm having to pimp myself out just to survive. Going up to other countries going, hey, hey, I'll, uh, I'll raise the, uh, the production in your provinces in exchange for my, uh, my being here. Eh, has some effect. Holy smokes, those Cambodians. Fortunately, they're all in this zone of control, so, uh, as long as that fort is activated, which it is not, they'll be fine. Get out. sure if you guys will pack enough punch to uh, demolish them in time. Ten days. Ten days. Keep your forts going. It's alright though. Rebels don't actually do anything if they're in a uh, zone's fort of con uh, a fort's zone of control. So you can rest easy. How long have you been streaming, Jake? Just joined? Oh, 13 minutes. Honestly, though, there's not going to be much going on, which kind of surprises me. Since there isn't too much to talk about in the game, I may as well talk a bit about streaming and the multiplayer. It does surprise me, because... Um, okay, granted, I shot Loango, the, uh, the Loango campaign, dead before uh, what I claimed would be its eventuality. Ah, they're finally paying for that fort. Bit of a bug here, because the forts aren't retaking zone of control. Yeah, I shot dead Loango before its prime. Basically saying, ah, oh, it's just a blobbing campaign now, I don't really want to continue with this. I knew, in a sense, is much the same. I played really sloppily in the last session, but it's still uh, just a case of I can do what I want here. But I'm going to keep it going because I really, really want to see a nice... I should not have pulled these troops back. This is not in a zone of control, so they're going to add separatism here. Not too concerned, to be honest, though. Yeah, you can't even reach there, so no worries, Ken. Yeah, I just want to be able to look at the uh, final result of this and smile in admiration to my own work, I guess. Yeah, smoking that plus 17 separatism. But that's fine. Recent revolt modifier will take care of that. And our missionaries are plenty strong enough. They'll get all that seen to. I kind of don't want to waste more of my dip points culturally enriching lands, but I feel that there's too many little bits of Ainu. I need to spread the love a bit more. Especially in New Hokkaido. That's... It's just nasty. also kind of nice that I can make blockade money off of my own uh, occupied provinces. A lesson I'd be making if I actually owned the thing. Provinces are just a number, Jake. Who needs to blob anyway? If you're playing the dev multiplayer, you gotta blob. 
I wonder if they're going to declare a coalition war on me. They have Ming on their side. My manpower is low. If I were them, I'd do it. Now, die Viet. Till 49, huh? Oh, I don't have a truce with Dai Viet. I should be demolishing them. Mong Yang is your ally, but Mong Yang's in the coalition. I think if I made them a co belligerent they would join in and slaughter me. So probably not a wise thing to do. But what is wise is getting the war... Hmm? Da Ning is a... Hold on, run this by me. Okay, you are losing those cores, I tell you what. Might as well show our vast superiority. What I don't like are how we've got Ainu particulars wanting to rise up because of Martaban. Martaban, why you are so... Hmm. The odds are in my favour that we will not get particularists. They've even increased it on me. The trouble with particularists is they have a habit of rising up here, there, and everywhere. Well, we'll just trust that it won't happen. Alright, I'm confident enough in ourselves. Let's just cleanse the superiority. But yeah, we ain't calling you in. Because I can't remember if it starts the coalition, but it possibly could. It will call in the coalition, but you can separate piece them. Okay. Well, we didn't do it. Woe is us. Now. Surprise. Okay, well. We'll take our opportunity to march through Khmer. And this should take us up until when we uh, are able to destroy or demolish the rest of these guys. That military access is going to help us out immensely. Get our two siege on the case. May as well grab that extra cavalry shock. Do not really want to get improved to drainage because we need all the points we can get for all that coring that needs to be done. Get to it, my elite soldiers. By which I mean my mercenary scum. Oh. Looks like we're going to be running into you anyway. What are my thoughts on the royal family? You're pretty good, but you're only average. Yeah, we can stomach another leader. No, Zenon, you have not missed much. To be honest, people that miss this whole thing won't be missing much. But then I'm always the first to talk down my own streams. If only Bjorn were here to tell me to, uh... Keep it metal. Bjorn's one hell of a guy. Oh my, Khmer is actually fighting you as well. This could get interesting. But by the same token, it also might not. Hmm. Thing is, unless they get a fort captured, I don't think they're going to be separately piecing out, so that's another issue. Let's get on that blockading business as well. And yeah, I know, lazy colonist. Actually, doubly so. I could be recalling you and sticking you elsewhere. I think I need this province as well. My map tells me so. So I shall make it mine. We got a couple of uh, folks here who could be elsewhere. Where the heck are you going? Get over here. Keep it metal, Jake, but you should keep it Scottish folk metal. That's the spirit. Let's 
Solomon Islands? Yeah. Make it so. They shall be mine. That's it. I couldn't. I should not be getting so slack that I allow these armies to walk all over me. I mean, although I did not make them a co-belligerent, I should still demolish Mong Yang. Eh, they're also at war, so... Let's just cap that fort, maybe the other one, and we'll be able to take what we like. Potentially. Jake, when will you play as Norse Maldives? Espionage for first idea group as well. You trying to kill me? No, that's what the Dai Vietnamese are trying to do. Probably aren't able to get there in any reasonable amount of time. And it's a uh, show superiority war as well, so... Come on, demolish them. Help a brother out. Oh, yeah. This guy gets it, man. Actually, where's he gonna run to? Doesn't have a glut of opportunities here. He's gonna run all the way over here? Okay, well, that's his problem. Keep them conversions going. I'm also looking at my dip. Thinking New Hokkaido itself. That is not enough Ainu. We need to spread the glorious beards far and wide so every province bordering New Hokkaido should also embrace the beards. You ever looked up the Ainu facial hair? I mean, I am not someone that goes for facial hair, but that is... That's impressive. And great, the yeah, I particularists have decided to go away, to put it politely. And our manpower slowly, but well, also rather unsurely trickles back. Should probably get these guys in as backup as we don't know what these guys are going to do, actually. No, they're going for Chiang Rai, not to be confused with Chiang Mai. Plumbing Mong Yang. Who would ever play as these guys? Oh no, I'm the one doing the demolishing here. What I really hope is that they don't retake this fort I went to great lengths to take. Mm, I'd rather not be fighting them with my not mercenaries right now. Mm, how best to do this. You two should grab these and then once we have those forts continued to be sieged, these folks can come by and smash the ones in Vientain. Yeah, it's not going to fall at 7%, that would be daft. There we go. See, I love sending in mercenaries to die for me. Since they uh, they will not drain my manpower pool, they will just drain my money pool. And if there's one way I always play, it's the loads of money united strategy. Actually, that was also very true in the dev multiplayer. I am the richest nation alive. Just by pure, uh, pure unadulterated treasury. We could block them off in mountains here. Except, uh, I still got that fort going on. I guess if I care about Sumba. I 
<laughs> the icy blade gets it. Holy crap, I knew beards are the best beards. Damn straight. It's also kind of nice not having to worry about war exhaustion at all here, thanks to Siberian ambitions, even though attrition in Diviate is horrible, to put it lightly. Alright, the full cost of Mong Yang itself is 173, so we'll be able to take about a quarter of the country during this. Nothing, uh, nothing glorious. Again, this one fort is uh, keeping us occupied. Mm. Should have kept that held since it were it was the mountains. Ah, well, not to worry. Plenty of mercenaries to keep dying for me here. Hard to tell who's going to win this uh, march here. And these are mountains, so I don't really want to risk it. Why do people keep asking how long have you been streaming? I wonder if there's a way that that could be made obvious. That would be nice. What I'm really hoping is that Mong Yang makes a move to take back these provinces, but sadly they are not. It's not a big deal. Khmer are small. These two provinces may make them too big to consume in one shot, but it may not. Jake, you should put a timer on the screen. No, I don't think that really adds anything to the stream. Maybe I should just start uh, banning all the people that ask how long has the stream been going on for. Eventually they'll learn. Probably won't, but eventually they may. A pretender? Oh my goodness, for an average claim, you are just worse than Grayskin. I don't even know where Mergui is. And now I do. Unfortunately, even if this was God's left testicle himself, which it is not. Change me to an administrative monarchy. I am an administrative monarchy. Well, you have no place in my country. I'll let you uh, run Rampage for a short while, but then I will murder you. Just like these guys. hard enough it'll learn. There we go. That's the spirit. Also, we're not needing these. No. 